This is Scott Ruth from West Earl Township Police in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, and you're watching Outdoors with the Morgans. It'd be a crime to miss it. So welcome back everyone, Mike here. Finally got a little bit of snow last night, but uh, I don't think it's gonna last real long. Ground's not frozen or anything like that. Today, don't have a whole lot going on. I am gonna do a little snow plowing, probably clean things up a bit, may split a little bit of firewood later on, we'll see.
see we got some snow and I'm gonna get the rest of this shoveled off but it does look so pretty can't help but to uh, smile when you're out here it just all depends on how long you're out here before your smile stops you know those people that don't have snow where you live you're kind of missing out on some good childhood memories sled riding snowball fights laughing at someone slipping and falling you know all those good things that just warm the heart I mean, how perfect is that it's snowing. I felt like I could just snap my fingers. Cue the snow. All right, so next, I'm gonna get the dogs to take them for a nice walk. I'll bring you along. Daughter Eva. All right, Eva has some things to share. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone for all your kind comments, love, and prayers while I was sick last week in the hospital. Really appreciate it, and I'm so grateful to be feeling better now. Yeah, so you're back in your routine. Yeah. Back to school, easing into some chores. <laughs> and Eva has a funny story to tell you from school the other day. Yeah, so the other day, two girls were like walking down the hallway looking at the ceiling. They were like, is that a bat? And I was like, there's not a bat in the school. And they're like, a teacher walked by and they're like, look, it's a bat. And he didn't acknowledge it at all. So I was like, it's definitely not a bat. <laughs> So I stood up and I went to go look at it and there was a bat just hanging from the ceiling and me and my friends all sit in that hallway so then the janitor came to get it and he like tried to get it with the net and it started flying up and down the hallway <laughs> and kids are running and screaming and ducking and oh, it was just a mess. Why do you guys but, sit in the hallway? Because whenever classes don't start yet our teachers don't let us in usually. Oh you're okay so, so you're just, in between classes. Yeah. Good to know. Hey there's always an occasional bat. Got to be prepared. I will tell you a funny story. When Levi was a little kid, he was probably like six or seven years old. We were going swimming and his swimming trunks were hanging on the line. And I said, grab your swimming trunks. We got to get going, blah, blah, blah. He grabs his swimming trunks and comes down the sidewalk and he had a bat stuck to his chest. And he didn't see it yet. And I did. <laughs> and I grab a broom, I'm ready to like bat it off of him. And uh, it was just that, you know, had to hit him once or twice, knock the wind out of him. <laughs> but the bat was okay. <laughs> Pretty funny. All right, so I'm gonna take the dogs for a walk. Good stopping. Good 
job. Okay, let's go. Here guys, this way. We're gonna go this way. It's still snowing and it's windy. Whew. Do you like the snow? You want to play? This will, this will be so much exercise. She'll sleep the rest of the day. <laughs> oh. Rue is on the left. Piper's on the right. And Rue always lets Piper win, huh? Well, in most cases. Ooh. She's a true Morgan. She started with that, that stick poking up. Come on. Good job, guys. Good boy, Ruth. Hey, I'm DJ Poland from Alive Wilderness Retreat in Ontario, Canada. I hope you enjoyed Outdoors with Morgans.